Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. When answering exam questions, there are a few key things to remember. Right? So just, just remember exam technique is a key part in preparation for any exams. And it's something that you'll pick up the more you go and you do past papers. Right, so many like questions in exams are repeats of what will be in old exams. So going and looking at lots of generic questions beforehand is a good idea. When going and answering and questions and reading them, there's a few things just take into account. Make sure you go read the question at least twice so you don't make any mistakes when you're reading them. As you're reading them, go highlight key information. Don't make assumptions about what the question's asking. Uh, make sure after you've answered it, you go check your work for like daft errors that you might make. And if it involves going and answering something where there's some calculation, make sure that you write your workings out of that. Right, let's go and have a look at the question. So, homing box genes are a relatively large family of genes that are highly conserved within lots of living organisms because they go and cause or put in order the formation or direct the formation of many body structures during early embryonic development. So homeobox gene is a DNA sequence found within genes that affects patterns of what's called development of morphogenesis, right? So how things look. Homeobox genes in terms of us are present in every human chromosome and often appear in clusters. So many classes or sub subfamilies of homeobox genes kind of uh, are described in a number of different ways although and uh, put into different groupings. So homeobox genes can contain particular DNA sequences that provide instructions for making about a string of 60 proteins and we call that what's called a homeodomain. So most homeodomain containing proteins act as transcription factors which means that they can bind and control the activity of other genes. Uh, <clears throat> so we refer to these homeobox genes as being master regulator genes because they're regulating the turning off or turning off of other genes further down the line. And like we said, they're doing this by encoding for transcription factors, which are proteins that go and bind to the DNA, which either increase or decrease the transcription of a particular gene. So when Hox genes are turned on, right, we'll say that a cascade of regulatory genes are kind of activated that go and express, that go and control the expression of genes later on. Quite importantly, homeobox genes can also turn on apoptosis. Right, so remember apoptosis is programmed cell death. So if there's a mutation in one of these genes, for instance, then the transcription factor may not be produced, leading things like fused fingers or the webbing between the fingers not going and breaking down. If we just go and have a look at a quick question to do with this. So, quite importantly, so we start off by saying that Hox genes code for transcription factors that control the development of the body plan, right? So the way or the order that things are developing. So figure 16.2 shows a congenital deformity caused by failure to control that of the control mechanism. So explain, quite importantly, how the failure of this control mechanism goes and leads to this deformity. So we can see there we've got fused fingers and you can also see that there's webbing in between the fingers. So we're probably talking about something that's going to stop the process of apoptosis happening, which goes and breaks down the cells that would go and like, cause them to separate. So key things that you need to talk about is the fact that the Hox gene does not produce the transcription factor, right? or the transcription factor is not activated. So molecules signaling apoptosis are not produced. So therefore, 
Apoptosis, allowing for the separation of the fingers, does not occur. So hopefully you have found that uh, useful. If you've got any questions, then drop it in the comments below and, uh, and we'll be uploading a lot more. All right. Good luck, folks.